Hello, my name is Emily Hernandez and I am a digital transformation consultant at DocuSign. And part of my job is helping our customers make the most of their investment with DocuSign. And one of the ways that we can do that is by increasing the amount of successfully sent and completed envelopes. Have you ever hit send on an envelope and then realized you might have misspelled a signer's name or email address, forgot to add a specific field to the form, or maybe you didn't include all of the required documents in the envelope before you hit send? Instead of letting these envelopes void or expire, correct them. Understanding how and when to correct in-progress envelopes is a really easy way to save time and money with DocuSign. Correct is a paid feature that gives you the ability to fix the details of an in-progress envelope in certain cases so you don't have to waste an envelope or create a new one. So what can you correct? You can correct things like recipient details, which are things like your email address, name, routing order of your recipients, recipient action type, your private or general messages on the envelopes, and even your authentication for your recipients. You can also edit envelope conditions, such as the expiration date or reminder settings, and you can even add new documents or fields in certain circumstances. Corrections are tracked in the certificate of completion and only the envelope sender or another user who has access to the sender's envelopes can correct the envelope. So. How do you correct an envelope? Well, the first thing you want to do is go to your Manage tab within DocuSign and filter by your sent envelopes. Since I am the sender, these, this is going to be the easiest way to see what in-progress envelopes I have and what the ability to correct them. If something is completed, that means that all signers have taken action on the envelope. There's no ability to correct it because the envelope is closed. However, all of these other envelopes that say waiting for others that means I do have the ability to correct these envelopes. So in order to correct an envelope, you're going to locate the envelope you want to correct. I will hit this down arrow next to the envelope name and I will click correct. Now, in this first scenario, I have an envelope and I have three, four signers. I have Freddie first, Sally second, Terry third, and then Fred fourth. And I have my document. Because none of my recipients have taken action on this envelope, I have complete control to edit things during the correcting phase. So I can do things like replace the document within my envelope to be a new one. Suppose I sent it with a document that you know, was missing a few pages or needed some details adjusted. I can replace the document at this time because none of my recipients have taken action on this envelope. I also have the ability to upload additional documents and I can edit any of my recipient details. I can remove recipients. I can change recipients to a different recipient type. So now Terry Third's just going to receive a copy. It's letting me know that Terry Third has actually fields to sign on the envelope. So do I want to change him to a CC recipient, which will remove his field. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna click cancel and leave him as a signer. I can add private messages at this time. I can change my general message. I can even edit my advanced options up here. And some of this will depend on your account settings and user privileges. Um, but since I'm an admin on the account and the sender of this document, I have full control to edit anything I want to in the envelope um, since no signers have taken action on this envelope. I also have the option to add additional fields to this envelope. If I was missing anything or if I wanted to remove a field, I can do so at this time and click correct. What this is going to do is now allow my first signer in the workflow to go back into this envelope and he will see the new corrected version um, and be able to take action on this envelope. Now the second type of correcting is when a recipient has already taken action on the envelope. And here's my example. As you can see, I have four signers and one out of four is already completed. So when I click correct for this envelope, you will now see that the document itself is locked as well as my first recipient's details. This means that Freddie First has already completed his signing on the envelope and therefore I cannot change this document and I cannot change Freddie's details. So what can you do?
First, I can upload additional documents. Suppose I wanted to add a revised copy to my envelope and just add it as a second page. I can do that. I can also add additional documents or templates at this time. And I can edit any downstream recipients who have not taken action on the envelope yet. So suppose I wanted to do something like update Sally's email address, add additional recipients, any of the other things that we could have done in the first scenario with the exception of editing Freddie and editing the document itself. If I were to edit something like Sally's email address and correct this envelope, it will now send a new email to Sally's updated email address with a new link to complete and sign. The original email that was sent to Sally's incorrect email address, that link is voided and it can no longer be used. So now I've corrected this envelope and it is now Sally's turn to sign and she will see the corrected portion. Sounds great, right? Well, one of the a couple things I want to mention um, as you're getting into correcting your envelopes that is important to know. The first is that correcting is only available in our web application. You cannot correct envelopes on your mobile app. You must do it directly in the DocuSign web app on your desktop or laptop computer. The next is that correcting resets your automatic reminders. So if you have automatic reminders enabled on your envelope, when you correct that envelope and resend it, it's going to reset the timeline for your automatic reminder. So for example, if your automatic reminders are set to three days and then you correct and resend your envelope, the automatic reminder is gonna start from the day that corrected envelope was resent. It's not going to start from the three days it was originally sent. Next, attachments must be deleted before correcting. If your recipient has added an attachment, it's going to lock the envelope from correcting. If you try to go and correct an envelope and you're unable to, that is likely the reason. You will need to have the recipient remove their attachment before you can proceed with correcting the rest of the envelope. And then finally, correcting is a paid feature. If you do not see correct on your drop down menu next to your envelopes, it is likely not enabled on your account. So speak with your DocuSign account administrator to see your options for having correct available to you. And lastly, I really want to emphasize that you can only replace a document in an envelope before the first signer has taken action. If the document itself needs to be corrected, and the first signer has already signed on the envelope, then you will need to create a new envelope. But there is an additional feature you can use to save yourself a little bit of time. And that feature is called copy envelope with field data. What this feature is going to allow you to do is create a brand new envelope, but it's going to retain any of the information already entered by the recipients and the sender. So what that looks like is in this example where Freddie First has already signed the document and I need to replace that document, I now need to create a new envelope. So I can click here and cl click the copy with field data and it will create a new envelope, but it will have all of my recipient details still put in there. So I don't have to start from scratch by entering in name and email address, laying out my fields or anything like that. From this screen, I can now click here and replace the document with that new version that I want to send. And then I can view my document. It will still have all of my fields laid out as they were originally, and I can click send. This is going to send a brand new version of the document, but save you a little bit of time from having to start fresh if you needed to replace that document and a recipient has already taken action. So. That's how you correct. Pretty easy and definitely a wonderful way to save some money and time with DocuSign instead of voiding envelopes that just need a little bit of tweaks before they can be completed successfully. I hope you like this video. If there's any other tips, tutorials, or features you'd like us to cover, please let us know. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.